Uh, Kira, you have a bit of a beef at the moment. You think we are focusing on the wrong thing at the moment. And uh, I suppose it comes in the light of a, a couple of days of figures. Monday's uh, figures were announced and they were, we all kind of went, ugh, our kind of chins were on the floor. It was 700 uh, plus uh, case numbers. Then yesterday the figures came in. 360. Now you do get a kind of variance. Tuesday's figures tend to be low for whatever reasons. Um, Monday's ones were probably a reflection of uh, the Patrick's Day, people not going on Patrick's Day and a kind of a backlog of figures. But that up and down nature and you feel we are dancing to the tune of the daily figures way too I much. I absolutely do and I am tired of listening to the daily figures to be honest. It's like they're the Angelus, the announcement every they evening. become the Angelus. Bong at yeah. six o'clock the number of figures. Yeah, there was over For whom seven, the bell tolls. Completely. There was over 700 on Sunday about 500 on Monday and 300 odd last night and that 700 figure it caused huge stress and anxiety on Monday. There was a lot of talk about a fourth wave. There was a lot of talk about there can't be any easing of restrictions on April 5th there was general national despondency and fear and anxiety and, and the truth remains this and, and, I, and it's lost it's totally lost out there the case numbers are a terrible metric they are dependent on testing regimes and they are hard to compare like with like in and as vaccinations are rolled out as we have more vaccinations out there the cases are going to become decoupled from serious illness and death because the vaccinations, you might still get COVID, but you won't become seriously ill with it. That's what the vaccines do. So the case numbers are going to become and are becoming increasingly irrelevant and much better, much better and much more important would be a five-day moving average or a seven-day weekly moving average. And that would have shown, for example, that between sort of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that the cases didn't really change that much. Maybe there is a slight upswing going on. The the previous week, they actually had gone up a little bit. And and we can't ignore that. And Uh, you're not suggesting we ignore that. No, I'm not. But I can't help but think that the cases have become people's focus and, and that it is causing a huge shared national kind of anxiety. And part of me wonders, Shane, is that what what they want, what government and NEFIT want, because they believe that that influences our behaviour. It causes us to adhere more closely to the guidelines, which is fine in a way. But people's mental health is also a problem. And there's a, a pandemic within the pandemic of people feeling dreadful at the I, moment. I, I completely and I agree worry. with you. I completely agree with you. How do we get, to use an Eddie O'Sullivanism, how do we get the toothpaste back in the tube, though? That is the metric we've been using. How do we change that? I don't do, know. Should the media stop re- Stop reporting. Well, personally, I would like to see this. I would like to see that the case numbers are not the Angelus bong every night. I would like Neffet to use five-day averages rather than that. They can put the case numbers up on government.ie or on the HSE website. That's fine. But I don't necessarily think that this is the right way to go. Okay. I do think it causes upset. I think it, 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 it yeah, it's, it's a poor metric and it's time that we recognise that it's becoming increasingly irrelevant. And when are we going to start addressing that and change what we do?